Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're taking a look today at the Amazon Echo Look. This is an Amazon Echo device that does all of the voice commands that we've seen on other devices like this one we've covered in the past. And you can see my full playlist down below to get more information on how Alexa works. Now what sets this one apart is the fact that it has a camera on the front. And what this is designed to do, almost its sole mission at the moment, is to take pictures of you wearing different outfits and it will compare them and tell you which ones look the best on you. That's what it does for the most part beyond all of its Alexa functionality. So a uh, rather unique thing. It might be a little creepy having this thing sitting in your uh, wardrobe staring at you all the time, but there is a way to disable the camera when it's plugged in. I'll show you all those features in just a second, but uh, that's what it does. And we're going to be exploring this in more detail. Now this came into the channel on loan from AFTV News. Com. The owner and operator of that site, Elias Saba, got his start around the same time I started this YouTube channel. He's a friend of mine, so we always uh, swap uh, ideas and hardware back and forth occasionally. So he let us borrow this one. He got on the invite list and was uh, invited to buy one at its full $200 price tag. So I'm grateful to him, and hopefully you can all thank him down below in the comment stream. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review, and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. So let's take a closer look at the hardware now. It's pretty simple. You just plug it in and then pair it up with its app. Uh, there's actually a separate Echo Look app that you have to use with this device for the camera functions. The other stuff like asking it questions and search results that it might spit back and of course uh, Amazon purchasing links are all fed to the Alexa app, the regular Alexa app. So you have to kind of jump between apps on this one primarily because it's probably still in a test marketing phase at the moment. Uh, the camera here is a five megapixel camera. It's got a four way flash here that is very bright. It will leave spots That's in your eyes, picture. especially if you're uh, using this in a closet or something, but it needs to be bright in order for it to actually uh, get the data that it needs to make its fashion advice for you. It's powered, believe it or not, by a pretty powerful processor, an Intel Atom X5Z8350 chip, and that is something that uh, we have seen on many $200 mini PCs running Windows and Android. Uh, this thing has that same chip. It won't run Windows as configured, but it's capable of it, and that gives you an idea as to how much processing power is in here. I think they picked the Intel chip because Intel has something called RealSense, which is built into this device also. Uh, that is an optical technology that allows allows uh, it to pick out a 3D object in a picture, namely you, uh, so it's able to find you and then uh, make sure that it's looking at a human with clothes on to uh, get that data processed by their server, which is, I think, why they went with the Intel chip on this thing. Uh, there's two ways to mount it. I've got it right now on the little uh, stand, and you can adjust it like so. They recommend putting it up about five feet off the ground, so like at the top of a dresser is probably the best place for it. And I found even at that height, I'm tilting it more downward than uh, going this way with it. So you have to adjust it a little bit just to get it into place. They also have a wall mount that they include with it, and there's another hole here that you can use to uh, install that wall mount. I believe these are standard tripod mounts also, so anything that fits in that uh, size of a screw will uh, work with this thing. So you do have some options for mounting on there. It's got a speaker on the back. It's pretty loud, but it doesn't sound nearly as good as other uh, Amazon Echo devices. So this is really more for its camera here as far as its usefulness versus music listening. It will play music. It just doesn't sound all that great uh, because the speaker on the back here is very tinny and uh, not, very, not very good quality sound, but it's good enough to get information back from Alexa here or at least have it acknowledge your existence. But this is definitely not a music listening device. It also does not make calls. Uh, some of the newer Alexa software on their apps now allows you to make calls between devices and between apps on phones. Uh, this will not make a call. So if you want to make a call, you've got to have the other uh, Alexa devices like the Echo or the, uh, the little Echo Dot thing or one of those devices. This one will not make calls, even though it has a camera on it. And uh, some of the upcoming devices will actually uh, be able to do video conferencing, but this cannot be used to make a call at all. Now, in order for this to work, you do have to ask it to take a picture of you, which I'm going to do right now. Alexa, take a picture. So there we go, the picture is taken. It's going to complain now because it can't see my arms and legs, just my torso here. So it's saying move away for a full body photo because right now it can't do much with me, but that gives you an idea as to how that works. You can see some stuff blinking here below the Amazon logo when we took the picture. That was the Intel RealSense technology running. And then of course you saw that very uh, bright flash that it fires off when you do that. So let's go over to the app now and we'll take a look at a few things that I took earlier so we can get a better feel for it. So this photo obviously didn't work, uh, but this one did. And this was one I shot in my closet earlier and you can see it blurred out 
uh, everything but me. It's not perfect. You're not going to be uh, posting to Instagram with this, but this is really designed for uh, their fashion algorithm to determine how good you look in the picture. And if I go over here to the lower left-hand corner, you'll see a little thing called pop. If I tap that, you can see it just gives me a regular picture. So the camera on here is not fantastic, but it's good enough to accomplish what uh, Amazon is setting out to do with this. And if we go over to uh, looks here, you can see some of the different outfits that I have put on. I could decide that one is a favorite. So if I like this, the way this looks on me, I can hit the uh, little heart icon there. And I guess that gives their uh, machine algorithm a little more hints as to what you like to wear so that they can make better recommendations. Now, the cool thing though is the style check. And uh, what I did is I put on a couple of different outfits, some that I knew wouldn't uh, be so great to wear in combination here. So we We've got one here where I've got my uh, jacket on with some dark pants. It doesn't look so great. And you can see it likes me without the jacket, 66% of confidence uh, in, that, in that recommendation here. And I'll pull up the picture here so you can see what I was wearing in both. Um, so it's able to do things like that. If I go back out here, there's a few others that I was uh, quite impressed with. Uh, this one, you know, makes sense. It, it prefers uh, regular pants or corduroys here over jeans. So same shirt, different pants. Uh, in this instance here, it liked my green sweater better than my polo. It just thinks I look nicer in the green sweater, I guess, hard to say. Um, perhaps it was the color combination that I had there. That shirt doesn't go so well with those pants, which is probably why it made that choice. This one intrigued me though, because I took the same outfit, had one with a belt on and one without, and it was able to tell the difference between me wearing a belt and not, and it had a very high degree of confidence, 69%. Uh, that that was the better choice to make. So that was really neat to see that. What I can also do here is give it my own vote uh, to give their algorithm kind of a hint that, yes, it did the right thing there. So uh, pretty neat there. Here's an example of a shirt tucked in versus one that is not tucked in. It shows the one that was tucked in, and we can see, again, 69% of confidence in that uh, outfit there. Uh, here's one with me in a sweatshirt versus a polo. It prefers the, the, uh, the polo over the sweatshirt, so it must have a preference for uh, collared shirts versus non-collared shirts. Although I think if I just said to it, hey, I prefer the sweatshirt, maybe it would change its recommendation. And that's pretty much all this thing does. You can take some video with it, you can do some of that stuff, but it is not designed as a security camera, which was surprising to me because you would think that would be a really natural use for uh, something like this, especially something from Amazon, if, especially if you had this device here, which is fully capable of it, uh, to be able to sit here and kind of keep an eye on your home and also act as an Alexa device. I thought that would be a much better use of it, but right now it is just fashion only, although it's got enough horsepower power in here, it could very easily become a uh, security system in the future. So right now, just fashion, and it just takes uh, wide selfies and videos for that purpose. Now, if you're creeped out about having a camera on you all the time, there is a button here that you can push to uh, disable all of that. Uh, one of the things Elias noted and uh, sent me uh, his thoughts on this as well is that the light here, when it is muted, is not as bright as it might be on other Alexa devices. So if you want to leave it plugged in at night, uh, this won't bother you too much. You will see a little red ring here around the uh, camera as well as that little uh, little uh, no icon there lit up, but it's not overly bright. Although uh, my recommendation would be if you don't like this camera spying at you all the time is pull the, pull the plug on it just to make sure it's completely off. So I'm not sure really what to think of this thing, to be honest with you. I really I feel like it would be better if they added some home security features to it also. I think that would certainly enhance its value. Uh, but at $200 here to get uh, that very minimal functionality, I don't think is quite worth the purchase price here unless you really need help on your fashion advice. I need a lot of help, more than this thing can provide unfortunately. So at the moment, I don't think this is something I can recommend to anyone unless you really have a lot of different outfits and you want to start getting some machine learning applied to your fashion choices, uh, maybe give it a shot. But uh, by and large, it is a functional Alexa device with a camera, but the camera functionality is way more limited than I expected it to be, especially on a $200 price tag here and with all the horsepower that's running behind it. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters Mark Bollinger, and Cody Falk. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.